was an exciting night of fights here at the Staples Center and fans in attendance were not disappointed. Lucas Matisse took care of business by knocking out Humberto Soto in round number five. And of course, in the main event, Josecito Lopez got a win of a lifetime by beating Victor Ortiz. At some point in the bout, Victor Ortiz suffered a broken jaw and at the end of round number nine, his corner was forced to stop the bout. We're here at the post-fight press conference where all the fighters spoke about their performances tonight. And uh, I talked to the ringside physician, he said it's very, very dangerous, the bleeding inside the mouth, so he had to be taken to the hospital right away. But I'm going to have uh, Rolando Ariano, the manager from Victor Ortiz, make a brief statement. And then I'm going to introduce uh, Canelo Alvarez, and I'm going to talk a little bit about September 15th. Well, uh, here we go. Um, you guys know what my name is by now, and uh, right now it's... Uh, for us, at least at Team Ortiz, it's an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, but more importantly, we would like to convey that we're gentlemen of uh, integrity and honor, and we would like to congratulate the new WBC welterweight champion of the world, Josecito Lopez. Um, Josecito Lopez went out and showed uh, a valiant effort. A valiant effort, he gave one hell of a fight which resulted in Victor uh, having his uh, jaw broken. And right now my only concern is the safety, the welfare and well-being of my fighter. So uh, I want to thank you for always being here supporting us. Uh, but right now I have to go take, my fight, take care of my fighter. Thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Uh, good evening and I'm very, I'm very happy. No, la verdad que, bueno, me sentí muy bien, eh, una pelea muy fuerte, Soto es un excelente boxeador, eh, tiene la mano muy dura, eh, pero bueno, eh, sabíamos que tenía mucha experiencia, triple campeón del mundo, eh, nos entrenamos muy fuerte en la Argentina, hicimos una buena preparación junto a mi equipo, eh, así que bueno, se ven los resultados y, y, y sabemos que ahora entrenando a la Argentina podemos llegar a muy lejos. I felt very good in the fight, um, you know, I fought a very good fighter, ex-world uh, champion, three times over with uh, Humberto Soto, and uh, you know, I felt his punch, he had a very, very uh, strong punch, uh, but I felt very, very good, I was well prepared, I trained in Argentina, and uh, now we know that uh, that, uh, that works, training in Argentina, so I'm excited and ready for the next one. A partir del tercer round, me sentía que era superior, que tenía mucha más fuerza, y y que bueno, que podía, había que meterle gana y meterle el pecho y, y sabía que se iba a terminar. Right around the third round, I felt that I was getting the advantage and uh, I felt that I was the better fighter and uh, I knew that it was a matter of time before it ended. No, muy importante para mí que no terminen las tarjetas porque las dos peleas anteriores como vio toda la gente y todo el mundo que, que las gané y me las robaron, así que bueno, salimos a ganar y sabíamos que veníamos una guerra, nos entrenamos para matar, así que bueno, se vio el resultado. Yeah. He said, no, it was very important, very important because, you know, the two prior fights I had here in the United States, I felt that I got robbed. So I knew that I had to take matters into my own hands and uh, I prepared for a war and I came out to kill and that's what happened. No, la verdad que un triunfo muy importante para mi carrera. Sabíamos el nivel de boxeadores que teníamos enfrente, siempre lo respeté. Su trayectoria arriba al ring, no mucho, pero bueno. Sabíamos que ganándole a él, un buen mexicano, un buen guerrero, íbamos a tener buenos resultados en la carrera. The question was, uh, how do you feel uh, stopping Humberto Soto? He's never been stopped in his career. And he said, oh, very good, very well. I knew that it was going to be a tough fight. I knew that uh, it was going to be a fight where, you know, I had to be well prepared. And I felt that I, I did my job tonight and uh, I got the victory and I think that there's going to be better things in the future. Eh, no, quiero que algún campeón me dé una oportunidad para pelear por ti. The question was, uh, with this victory, would you like a rematch with the two fights, one of the two fighters where you got robbed, and he said, no, I'm not interested in that, I'm interested in fighting for the title, getting an opportunity for the title. The question was, uh, what do you think about one of the judges having it even when they stopped the fight? And he said, well, I think that uh, they're probably getting ready to do the same thing they did to me last time. Fortunately, boxing is like that. You know, you win and you lose. No tengo palabras para decir lo que pasó esta noche. Simplemente el boxeo es así. I can't really explain what happened tonight, but simply, you know, that's the way the boxing is. Esperábamos una pelea así. Por cualquiera de los dos lados sabíamos de lo peligroso de la pegada de Matiz, pero también de la mía y pues.
yo creo que la gente que asistió fue la gente que salió ganando y Chong Tai también. We knew that it was going to be a dangerous fight. We knew that he was a big puncher, so am I. And uh, you know, it was a cautious uh, fight. We knew that it was going to be an important fight, but I think the winners are really the fans. I think for the first time we really get the chance to see one of the greatest young fighters in the world today. I said at the press conference earlier, we take nothing away from uh, Victor Ortiz. He's a fine, fabulous fighter, but there's just no one better than Jose Cito Lopez. He comes with a heart. Everything he put into this fight, everything he had ready for it, it, it showed. And he walked away with a victory, and I think it's a fabulous victory. So uh, it takes, as I said at the press conference earlier, it takes a great promoter. And I think Richard Schaefer is one of those great promoters to put these fights together. They don't happen by accident. So thank you, Richard, for our opportunity. We love it. And we'll be back many, many times. Now Everybody here, uh, you know, uh, I came in uh, in, in good shape and uh, ready, ready to go to war with Victor Ortiz and I knew that's exactly what it was uh, and uh, you know uh, thanks, to, thanks to God and, and our preparation and my team, my promotion you know we, 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 we dug in deep and we pulled it off and uh, like I said this is my rocky moment I wasn't going to let it go uh, well when, uh, when, yeah, well, I was a little surprised when, uh, when the, when the fight was stopped. Uh, I knew I had hurt Victor Ortiz. I didn't know to what extent, um, but I knew he was feeling my punches, and uh, I knew going into the later rounds, I was, uh, I would have a little bit more of an advantage, even though uh, my, my punch output wasn't as, as much as him. I know that that the punches I did land were, were connecting. So. Uh, you know, uh, I felt good in there, and in later rounds, uh, I was feeling a little bit better, so thank God things went our way. He hit me in the back of the head, he hit me in the neck. I, I felt a little pull on my neck. Um, never really thought of quitting. Just wanted to get that little strain off my, off my neck. Uh, you know, I felt like a little pulled muscle. As soon as I was ready to go, uh, there was, there's no quit in me. Um, you know, uh, as soon as uh, I'm, I'm ready and able to fight again, I'm back in there, and, and that's what happened. Were, were you Victor Ortiz hits hard. He hits hard. Uh, we knew coming in, he, he's a strong fighter. Completely hurt? No. Uh, you know, he, he caught me a few times where, where obviously he got my attention. Um, you know, but I, I, and it, at no point did, was I hurt enough to, to ever, ever quit. Uh, you know what? I, 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 whatever my promotion brings to me, um, you know, we get it with a few days off, maybe, maybe two days off. And then I'll be back in the gym. And uh, you know what? Whatever. Uh, this is my rocky moment. I didn't plan ahead. I didn't plan not one hour after the fight. I didn't bring clothes to wear. You know, I, I don't know what was going to go on after the fight. So uh, my my plan was to get in here and fight, and we'll go from there. And I'm I'm still in somewhat of a shock, but you know, we did it. We did it. Hey. There was points where uh, I know. He was connecting me, and I was connecting him, and and you know, uh, just wanted to be the smarter fighter. I knew, uh, you know, I was waiting a little bit too long, but I was somewhat trying to lure him, lure him in, and uh, connect him with some good shots, and, and I and I felt that I connected to the quality shots. Um, I've been screwed over a few times before, uh, you know, and uh, I knew going into the later rounds, I had to dig in deep. Dig, dig deep, because uh, I'm in there with Victor Ortiz. I knew it was going to be a war, and uh, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. So uh, I had to go hard. This poor, skinny Mexican from Riverside did it. <laughs> uh, you know what? I f I'll fight anybody. I, I, have, I, I, I don't quit. I have no quit. As long as I'm prepared, I'm willing to fight anybody. Like I said, uh, I guess I'm the new Mexican Paul Williams. <laughs>